Hello, welcome to a brief video on how to create a copy of the Excel ledger for a new year. And this is really a simple matter of knowing a few spreadsheet tips, but to make things a lot simpler for you. So let's say you're in 2022 and it's the end of the year and you want to create a brand new uh, ledger for 2023. And in 2022, you probably got everything set up nice, the tax rates or the uh, chart of accounts and all the different items in the setup screen. So you don't want to have to recreate all that. And so what's the simplest way to do this? Well, you just go to the file menu and you choose not save, but save as because save as allows you to make a copy plus you can rename the copied file so i'm going to call this one let's say 2023 you can call it whatever you like so i already have 2022 right so uh, actually i'm in the 2022 file now so when i go to save as i'm going to now make a new file name and we're going to give it uh, that and then choose save okay and then I can just go here and change this, let's say, to 2023. And then when I go back and look at Save As again, you can see I have two files there now, the 2022 file and the copy that I made just now for 2023. So anyway, um, that's uh, basically it. You've now created a second file and you're ready to go. Now, the thing is, though, you may have had... Uh, a 2022 file with a bunch of data in it. And so when you copy the 2022 file, the 2023 file is gonna have all your data from 2022. So how do you remove all that? And I just threw some stuff in here as an example. You know, all your months are full of entries and, and you know, you, you're in 20, this is a brand new file, so you don't want that stuff in there. So here's a real simple way to do this. You can, click the first tab, the monthly tab, like I've clicked January at the bottom, then hold down your shift key on your keyboard. And while you're holding down your shift key, press the last monthly tab, which in my case is December, with your mouse. And I've highlighted now every single tab uh, for all 12 months. So now what I do is I simply go up and highlight um, for one of the months, all the yellow cells, because the white is calculated values, you don't want to choose those, but just the yellow cells, just highlight you know, as far as you want to go to make sure you got them all. And then once you've done that, on your keyboard, press the delete key. So that removes just the contents of the cells. Now don't use cut, like some people are tempted to use the cut command, you know, that will not be good because that'll remove all the formatting. So you just want to Press the delete key on your keyboard. And then when you do that, you scroll back up and you can see that all the data is gone. So look at all the months. Everything is blank. Year to date is zeroed out and, um, and you're ready to go. So that's really all there's to it. Now you have a 2023 file with no entries in it and you can start working on that. Just make sure you save it. Now that you have the file created, you don't need to use save as because you're not going to create a duplicate of this maybe. So you can just choose save just to update it that now you've deleted all your entries. Now, just a little tip. Now that you have the file blank, uh, you could also just go save as at this point and just you know create a blank template. You know, just call it template uh, and blank ledger so that next year, you could, rather than using the 2022 file to create a copy, you could use this blank one to make a copy and then you wouldn't have to delete all the data. So just a little tip. Uh, see, when I go back to save as, now you see I've actually have three ledgers and I'm gonna keep that one for next year to make a copy for 2024, let's say, and then I can just use these. But anyway, this, you can use a current ledger file like I just showed you or you know make a copy for next year as a blank one to make copies from. Anyway I hope that helps you and thanks for uh, tuning in.